questions, please. And we'll start with Maria. Ian, that was another game where you kind of had to grind it out there in the end. You had a couple of and one plays that were really big. Just how, what was the team's focus going down the stretch, especially when when Kansas really turned that, that into a game in the first half? I mean, it's just it's one possession at a time, one stop, one score. Um, I think sometimes we um, kind of widen our focus a little bit too much. So we just kind of narrow it back down to one stop, one score, one possession at a time. Cora. Uh, you guys led by 13 at one point in the fourth quarter, but Kansas kind of stayed in that game. Um, what improvements do you feel like needs to be made to, to put away a game like that, you know, right then and there? Um, I think it's just defensive focus, um, knowing who the shooters are, knowing where the shooters are, um, having, you know, backside help on the lobs, um, ball pressure, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all things that we can shut down with our defense. Maria. Yeah, that was kind of a breakout game for Tess Darby, particularly from the arc. Just how good can she be from long range? Man, Tess can hit it, boy. I'm just so excited for her. I mean, this season is, is a breakout season for her. Um, and I, you guys don't even know what's coming from her. She can be a game changer. She really can. Cora. Uh, bench had 21 points tonight. You had 11. Sarah Puckett had eight. How key is that just for you guys to keep contributing, especially when, you know, some stars may have a quieter night like today? Yeah, I mean, I think depth is one of the greatest um, advantages that we have this year. Um, the fact that we can go five in, five out and um, still keep up the tempo. Um, so, yeah, I think, I mean, I don't think that's anything new, but um, I think it'll, it'll continue to help us going into bigger games. Maria. Yeah. Kia, Jordan Horston took a pretty tough fall there in the second half. How much did you guys sort of hold your breath after what's already happened this season, seeing a teammate hit the deck like that? Um, I can't speak for everyone else, but I knew she was going to get up. Jordy's tough, um, and she wants to play basketball. She wants to be in the game. So I didn't really think twice about it. I knew she was going to get up. Quick follow-up. You, you're a seasoned player. You understand these holiday tournaments there could be a lot of distractions a lot of a lot of things going on what kind of stuff did y'all do yesterday and then how did you get ready for today's game to make sure you took care of business you know the reason you actually went there <laughs> we actually um <clears throat> excuse me we went to see king richard which i would say everybody should go see it was an amazing movie um and then we pretty much just rested you know we ate our three meals a day and got some rest um, and went to see the movie. So, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty chill day. Cora. I um, saw you guys do a little party for um, young Harper yesterday. Oh, for Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> for Jackson. Uh, I mean, how fun is it to kind of be able to do that and, and have the, uh, Kelly's kids around the program? Yeah, it, it's so cool to just watch them grow up, you know, um, just around the program, knowing everybody, loving everybody, just considering us family, just like we do them. Um, and so it was it was just a great opportunity to be able to, you know, celebrate him last night. Maria. Kian, I don't know if you have had the chance to keep up with scores today, but it has been one heck of a start to the women's college mm -hmm. basketball season. I just saw where USF beat Stanford today. Obviously, you played just played them last week. Is, is that just mm -hmm. kind of the season it's going to be this year that you better be ready every time you step out there? Definitely, definitely. I mean, I love, I absolutely love where women's basketball, women's college basketball is today because it's anybody's game any night. Um, you know, there's so much, I mean, Tennessee used to be a dominating program, you know, you just kind of knew Tennessee was going to win, um, which we will, but I just feel like this season, just, if you're not, if you're not ready, when you walk out on the court, you're going to lose. Um, and I think that's, that's how games should be. You know, everybody should come out swinging every game, not just thinking they're just going to run over teams. And a, a quick wow. follow-up. I know you probably haven't had time to really look at film yet, but Oklahoma State coming up tomorrow. Quick turnaround. Just how do you get ready for, for the Cowgirls and, and the shootout? Yeah, I mean, you watch film, you read the scout. I mean, the coaches really do the work for us by synthesizing, you know, the information that we need to absorb. Um, so, yeah, we, you review the scout, you watch the film, and you do what they tell you to do. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Kian.
Thank you, guys.